I started with this solid wood Kincaid dresser that I found at a thrift store. I knew that it was going to be solid wood because it said Kincaid solid wood furniture on the inside of the drawer. But there are some other ways that you can use to spot a solid wood dresser. And I think I need to put together a video for that. I got out the belt sander using 80 grit and my respirator. The belt sander is definitely a power tool, but it's a lot like vacuuming. You just kind of go back and forth and back and forth. It doesn't really take a lot of um, manual strength. This was the first pass through. Here we are on the second pass. I changed the pad a few times. The next thing that you're gonna be doing is bleaching the dresser. And I used a mixture of half bleach and half water, but you could experiment and use a little bit more bleach and see if that works for you. I've seen where other people have used more bleach. I just wanted to be on the safe side. So I just spray it down, not too heavy, but I do make sure that every part is touched. And then I repeated this process um, between like five and six times, I think. Just spray it on, let it dry, spray it on, let it dry. This was over the course of a few days and it was just sitting out in the garage. And ta-da, look at her, she's beautiful. Um, I've already whitewashed the top right drawer so you can kind of see the difference. A lot of people might just stop right here and leave the natural wood look. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter even, um, even still. So uh, you can see where I painted the handles. I actually changed my mind on that and took that paint off and went with the original um, like bronze color for the handles, but I share that later in the video. This is Minwax Wood Stain and it is a whitewash pickling stain. I'll link it. I got it at Lowe's. You mix half of this with uh, water because it is a water-based stain and you apply it with paper towels. It's a lot like washing a dresser, you know, because you just use the paper towel and rub it on, wipe it off, rub it on, wipe it off. You want to stir this, make sure that your mixture is nice and even. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Riding with you in the sunny. So like I said, it's just, you know, rubbing it on and wiping it off, rubbing it on and wiping it off. I do sort of like, you know, pretend like I'm washing the dresser and so it gets in the grain a little bit more. You kind of push it around and you know, there's really like no perfection needed in applying this whatsoever. Just lots of paper towels. <laughs> I was really happy with just one coat of the whitewash, um, but a lot of people will apply two coats, and maybe even three coats if they're going for a really light and airy look. It's going to look a little darker here because by whitewashing it, you're wetting it and that's going to darken the wood for a second before it all dries completely. It's like I said, just kind of getting it into the green. Wax on, wax off. I should probably be wearing gloves. <laughs> I didn't feel like I needed to remove the drawers to do this, so um, I just kind of opened them up a little bit, but I'm sure that removing the drawers would um, make it even uh, easier for you to get in all those nooks and crannies. I 
I had quite a bit left over because I filled my whole cup up. So when you do your mixture of half whitewash and half water, you probably only need about a half a cup for a large dresser. The road, riding with you in the sunnier days. I wouldn't want it any other. So here was the original hardware and basically what I do is I get some wire cutters, snippers, and I cut halfway through. I This one was kind of thin so I was able to do it but if it's a thicker one you might need to get like a strong beefy person to help you cut it. But you're just cutting the two um, sides and then twisting and that little bead just kind of pops out. And that's going to be what you use for installing your hardware. Takes away some of the bulk and I just think it looks way more classic. This is a hack I use a lot on refinishing furniture. So now you're just gonna install your hardware and you could change out your hardware too. I thought about getting some stuff on Amazon or Wayfair. Um, ultimately, I decided to stick with the original hardware. Minus the tweak that I made. Are you ready to go? It obviously costs a lot less to use it's the original hardware. So I was really happy when road. I figured out this hack. Riding with you in the sunnier day. And there she is, all done and beautiful. I was really, really happy with how this dresser turned out. And when I shared it on Instagram, um, everyone was just going crazy. They were so excited about it and wanted to know how to do the finish. And I was really excited to share. Thanks for watching.